Hi, my name is Dennis Walther from Dixon United Methodist Church. Welcome to our daily devotion. Today I'd like to talk to you about prayer, and where God took Adam and where Jesus went when he was in communion with his and our Father. In all cases, it was the outdoors in a, or in a garden. Whenever I read the Bible, I like to put myself in the scene. So as I read, or as you read, put yourself in the Garden of Eden while reading from Genesis, and with the information we have in the Bible, envision what it might be like. Since Adam was there in Genesis, walking with Adam while in the Garden of Eden, imagine in your mind what it, you think the surroundings might be. Imagine the leaves, the trees, maybe a stream due to the vegetation, Whatever is in your mind, surround yourself as you read and pray. I will, will read two scriptures, the first from Genesis and the second from Mark. Both will be from the NIV. The first reading is from Genesis 2, beginning with the fourth verse. This is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created, when the Lord God made earth and the heavens. Now, no shrub had yet appeared on the earth, and no plant had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not sent rain to the earth, and there was no one to work the ground. But streams came from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east in Eden, and there he put the man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. To me, putting Adam in the garden was not only for food, but I think also for Adam to have a closeness to the earth, nature, and the Father. And now from Mark. In this scene, we have Jesus, Peter, James, and John. Try putting yourself sitting near Jesus as he falls to the ground and is praying with sweat pouring from his brow. As you reread this, put yourself near Peter, James, and John. Are they sitting on a rock under an olive tree with a stream running nearby and feel the heaviness of the eyes? Feel their feeling when Jesus comes back and sees them sleeping. How do you feel they would feel. Let's read from Mark 14, starting with verse 32, again from the NIV. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James, and John along with him, and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. Going a little farther, he fell to the ground and prayed that, if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not my will, but your will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Simon, he said to Peter, are you asleep? Couldn't you keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Once more he went away and prayed. Same thing. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. They did not know what to say to him. Returning the third time, he said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Enough. The hour has come. Look, the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go and come here comes my betrayer. For your prayer time today, find a place outside near some plants or trees. Absorb them by looking deeply into their leaves. Breathe, feeling the air going in and out of your lungs, and have a conversation with the Father. God bless you all.